this one is from like plastic chairs and stuff like that that is the PET and then this one is also from a combination of the plastic chairs and the such a what um, plastics Michael is conscious of the socio environmental challenges posed by plastic waste in Ghana the engineering research of his team is not only to protect the environment but turn these waste products into a gold mine for the economy Zero degrees and that will produce diesel and then we try air force air cooling and that will give you aviation fuel and then we try the normal uh, room temperature cooling and that will give you petrol kerosene so we could produce in, in 30 minutes in fact probably 25 minutes we could produce a uh, one kg of uh, depend on the input yeah so which means in a day we could produce one drum it has taken the team about three years to come out with a full product taking keen interest in the business viability of the research activity we look at um, efficiency we look at um, lower investment costs if we want to expand it as a business and that kind of thing. So we take all this into account. So that's what we did. So you use less energy to produce uh, fuel. And compared to products already on the market, pricing-wise, how competitive are these new products? Um, certainly it's going to be cheap and profitable. Well, it depends on the, on the entrepreneur. Um, it's going to be competitive on the market, even as we produce with the current condition what for us researchers uh, is important is the uh, uh, emission. The emission with this one is much better than the emission with the fuel on the market. The current student representative council of the KNUS team has expressed interest to invest in the project. This should result in small-scale commercial production within the next six weeks. To my best of knowledge, if, for example, the SRC support comes, then it means within the next two months we should see the product at least being scaled up having about four drums a day and then probably at the end of the year able to sell one tanker so for instance as it stands now if ghana is producing about uh, 160,000 uh, tons of plastic waste a day how much of diesel petrol would we be able to produce in a day with these raw materials yeah we'll be able to produce about 80% of that waste into, if it's diesel alone, we can produce diesel alone. So like 80% of it can be turned into diesel. If it's petrol, we can produce about the same quantity. So if you are divided, depend on the demand, we can segment them. I am foreseeing a situation where you run into challenges if we move into production looking at the fact that you need a lot more of the plastic waste yes. to go into production. Sure, you are right. Um, it, it will become very competitive because you have other people who are also collecting plastic waste, some to make bags and dresses, some to recycle and so on. We are also aware of the challenges, as you said, in the value chain, the collectors and then the, the buyers and, you know, and even uh, the waste producers so we've thought about this and one of the most exciting approach would be what we call the social entrepreneurship approach you know you organize an, a public awareness of how people at various places can also produce the fuel and all you do is just go and collect and then refine it and you know um, sell it onto, onto the market so going into the future would you want this to be a private a purely private venture public private partnership or maybe looking up to the government to come and take everything over if she the government wants to help that is wonderful um i believe in open market economy i believe in um, deregulation of the open market economy for maximum utilization of resources and performance level to thrive yes but then if the government is coming then i hope the government will probably take off some of its characteristics that most of the private people don't really like. The next phase of the project will be looking at an application to recycle mobile phones by retrieving our precious metals used in the circuit system, including gold, platinum, lead and copper. Kofi Edudomfe reporting.